everybody. I know it's been a while again. I'm starting to, I'm trying to figure out my iPod, my I, my thing real quick. I decided to come on here real quick. This just, um, I'm making, hold on, I'm trying to get this to straighten out. To make a um, bookmark, make some Christmas bookmarks for two orders. So I got this paper pad from Mary Everything from Michaels. It's the hot, the hot buys. Yesterday they were seventy percent off. So I'm just gonna make um, some little bookmarks. But I gotta see what I wanted, which ones I want to do first. Oh, he's kind of cute. Oh, that's cute, but that's too big. Let's see. We have some, oh, he, oh, look at him. Look at him. That is like the cutest thing ever. Okay, I think I'm going to do them with this one. Um, underneath that is my orders that I need to go in and get, um, let's see, what do we want to do on the back? The French Christmas trees. Uh, I want to do, um, oh, that's kind of foily and that's kind of cool. Um, I want to do the back. I mean, uh, see, I can't talk today worth anything. I can't talk. Uh, you think that's, does that look okay, you think? I don't know. Let me see. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. So, what I do is I first come in, my desk is very, very crowded right now. So, the first thing I do is I come in and I pick out what I want for the front and then for the back of the bookmark. So, then since I make these just one size for all, um, I get out my trusty pocket because I usually make them this size of as a pocket. And then, of course, I think I showed you guys how to do this already in the video, but I just figured I'd come on and talk and see how everybody's doing while I'm making these. And since I'm going to do two, I'm going to go ahead and do two. Now, if you really want to measure them or make them in a bigger size or whatever, you are more than welcome to do that. I don't really care. I just make them all one size. This is how I've always done it. I'm hoping that this video will work. I'm trying to learn how to do voiceovers and just do it, but I never, I don't know how to do any of that, so I just do it my normal way. I just do it however... I feel, and then, I don't know how long this is going to be, so, then, for some reason lately, this, uh, my trusty, uh, tape runner, hasn't been really helping me lately. It's been messing up and it tears my paper. So I don't know. Oh, did I just do that backwards? No. Okay. You have to like watch to see where you do things if you do it backwards or not. This gives you an idea of how I make my bookmarks or page markers or whatever you want to call them. I make them all different ways. But then I do have somebody that used to say that I copied them all the time when I didn't because everybody makes page markers. Everybody is doing it. It's not like that this one person did it on her own because she didn't. She actually copied her best friend. She just doesn't want to admit to it. But then I just come in and I just lightly cut where I see white. Okay, so then I decide that this is going to be my front because he's just so cute. Look at him. He's just so cute. So, I come in 
What did I do with my paper? There it is. I come in and then I decide on the pockets. Now the way that I do my pockets are different. I do do my pockets different. Um, let me think. If I'm going to do this side as my pocket, then I'm going to want to do some colors with it, I'm thinking. So... Let's do this one. Let's do that. And then let's do this gold foil. Let's see if we can get that to work. Okay, so we're going to come over and we're going to make these into pockets too. Now I should have done all this. Usually I get out everything that I want to do, even for the pockets. And I cut them all out at the same time. So then it takes me, you know, because this takes forever to do. And so, but I don't know why I didn't do it that last time. But I usually pick out all my paper. And cut them all out. So I'm not sitting here doing it all the time. So... And then I sometimes make them uneven, so I just turn around and I just cut them again. Now what I like about this is that I'm making both these bookmarks the same. So nobody can say, oh, I want that one. Why didn't I get that one? So I try to make them all the same. So then we see this. I do not trim my, um, I do not round corner mine yet. I usually do it at the end. So let's see, we do like that and like that. Okay, so we want it to be probably, and this is how I usually measure everything. I'm not real measury type. This foil stuff has some really cool things on the back. Now, what I could have done and should have done, and I'm about to show you, and I will show you in just a minute. Where's my other there? is I usually, um, see how this does, barely works, but I usually, uh, I try to do them like in different, now this one, I am going to take it so you can always see the different types of um, pockets I do. Um, I need to make me some bookmarks for mine. So see, then I have like that. Now what I want it can do is I think that's a little bit too tall. So then that, and then you see on the back where all that white is, you want to come in and you want to get all that out. So then there's the pockets. And then on this, if you want to leave it like this, or, where's my thing? Let's see if we can, in here. Ugh, I'm going to find something to do with those ones. We have all these. 
So we can take this out and we can see we have the ho ho with the Santa. Merry Christmas. It just depends on if you want to do something, if you want to cover that up. Like, I don't know if I want to. I just don't know because I really like my Santa. But I thought it'd be kind of cute to add something maybe, but I don't really think so. So I don't think we will to this. So here's one of the bookmarks. But see, I just feel like that he needs something. Um, no, I don't think he does. So then we have that. Now, if we want to, we could do, okay, I guess we'll go ahead and make this one the same too. See, after you've done these so many times, you actually can tell what's what. And sometimes what I do I'm sorry if this seems off screen. I'm just trying to, because I need to hook up my, see how this, it's so weird how it does this sometimes. Sometimes it will come up and sometimes it just doesn't. I think I'm going to have to start getting my tape again, my um, double sided tape and to start using that. But, you know, you can see some white. You can take those off. So then you have two of the pockets. I am very proud of those. And I'm going to laminate everything. I'm going to laminate them when I... Um, when I, uh, I will laminate them, can't talk today, when I laminate all my orders. I keep those kind of separate. Yeah, I have all of these right here to laminate for orders. Now, now I have to do pin loops, but I gotta, I wanna laminate all this and then I gotta do pin loops I think that's all I have to do left. Yep, I have to do I have to do pin loops. I have to do three red, two halos, and two blacks, and then I gotta crochet two items. So, and then all of this plus everything that's in this box over here is for orders. But I wanted you guys to see those. I might come back on and do it after I laminate everything and cut. Or whatever but I now need to make pin loops yep I do so I just thought I'd come on and show you guys um what will happen next is that I will laminate them and then I will cut them and then they'll make the holes and put the tool the tool on them and then that's it so I'll probably do that later I'm gonna have to heat up my laminator and then I have to make some pin loops. And then I will come back on and let you guys see all that. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.